Well, first of all, good afternoon, everyone, and, and thank you, Yogesh, for that introduction. And thanks to the BAPS Charities for hosting us here today at the site of this vac new vaccine clinic. BAPS Charities has really stepped up throughout the pandemic, donating more than 130,000 masks to communities right across this country. And their volunteers have now taken on a challenge of setting up this pop-up vaccine clinic as part of our accelerated rollout to get needles into arms in high-risk neighborhoods. As we continue to make steady progress vaccinating our seniors and most vulnerable, they're helping get vaccines to the residential and industrial neighbors here in Etobicoke, many of whom are essential workers. It's incredible, and I want to thank you again for what you're doing right here. I want to also recognize Councillor Michael Ford, who is here with us today, and thank him for his incredible work on behalf of the great people of Etobicoke North. And my friends, we're relying on vaccination sites just like this one, vaccine clinics that will get thousands of shots done in the heart of communities where they will have the greatest impact in our fight against COVID-19. Because getting ahead of this virus, ending these lockdowns, reopening our schools, getting our small businesses back on their feet, will all come down to one thing, vaccines. How fast we get vaccines into our province and into arms. How fast we can vaccinate critical mass of the population. The faster we get to that critical mass, the faster we can end lockdowns, open schools, and get life back to normal. And we all have a part to play. We need the federal government to continue leading the charge on getting us as many vaccines as possible. We need each of you to sign up and get your vaccine as soon as you're eligible. And for our part, we will continue building up capacity to get shots in arms. Over the past few months, we have ramped up our vaccine infrastructure. We now have the capacity to do millions of vaccines a month. And our capacity to get needles into arms grows every day. Where they are needed most, with the new clinics like this one at the BAPS Temple. Last Friday, we expanded vaccine eligibility to all adults 50 and older in COVID hotspots. Yesterday, we began vaccinating education workers in hotspots neighborhoods in Peel and in Toronto. We have special teams across the province in hotspot communities vaccinating those at greatest risk of infection, including essential workers who cannot work from home because it's critical that we stop COVID in these communities where it is spreading the fastest. That's why we're protecting those most at risk in 114 highly impacted neighborhoods across the province. This pop-up clinic will begin vaccinating local residents starting tomorrow. Community outreach will be led by the best people for the job. BAPS Charities, William Osler Health System, and local community organizations. These are the people with strong relationships with the surrounding community. These are the people who can build trust to combat vaccine hesitancy and protect our most vulnerable. At mobile vaccine clinics like BAPS and other high-risk neighborhoods, we are beginning to vaccinate adults 18 and over. We're opening employer-operated vaccine clinics right at the job sites. They're also vaccinating residents of surrounding communities. This is how we're protecting our workers and who can't work and, and go uh, work at home, I should say. Uh, that's how we're going to protect these folks. We're fighting the virus with everything we've got, and vaccines remain our best defense. We have managed to vaccinate over 3.3 million Ontarians so far, and our pace of vaccine delivery is increasing rapidly. We're getting vaccines in arms as soon as we receive them. If we receive a steady supply of vaccine from the federal government, 
we expect to vaccinate 9 million Ontarians between April and the end of June. In the meantime, we must all do our part now and stay home to save lives. Before I hand it over to NPP and on, I want to wish our incredible Health Minister and Deputy Premier, Christine Elliott, a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Christine. Actually, I called Christine and sang her a little song this morning, left it on her, her voicemail. Um, I'll, I'll never make a career out of singing, I'll tell you that. But I'll, I'll tell you, Christine, uh, as, as you've seen right from the beginning, has uh, worked hard to help uh, keep us safe throughout this whole pandemic and has stood side by side with me uh, right from the get-go, so we're very, very grateful to have Christine with us. I want to thank you and God bless the people of Ontario.